Friends, in this video for I Thought Wealth, I am going to talk to you on the topic, the result season so far. Every result season is eagerly awaited by all of us. We go into a result season with a set of expectations and the results come out. We measure the reality versus our expectation. And then we decide whether companies are doing better than what we expect them to or whether there is some gap. Whatever be the outcome, every result season also teaches us to reset our expectations. Our expectation from companies, our expectation from where stock prices will go and our expectations of ourselves. What kind of actions we need to take based on what we learnt in every result season. In that sense, this result season is no different but it's very interesting simply because there haven't been any major disappointments so far. Companies have done decently. We are seeing companies signal that there is not much cause for alarm, that things will be as they have guided us so far. There is no nasty surprise awaiting us as per the results that have come out till today. What does this mean? It means that companies are giving us clarity. That clarity is enough for us to form informed judgments about how they will perform going forward. But yet, are we supposed to be super confident and invest now in these companies? That's where the catch starts because valuations in these companies where performance is as per guidance and it's seen as satisfactory are not really in our favor. So the valuations not being in favor is the catch. Effectively, what do you do when valuations are not in your favor? You wait for valuations to come in your favor. So you set a level for each of these companies and you wait. Some event somewhere, some macroeconomic uncertainty, some selling which came unexpected from specific quarters like the FIIs. Disappointment that could come due to events like the budget. An IPO which sucked out too much money from the market and took out too many players from buying stocks on a daily basis. Falling speculation in the retail segment. All these could lead to softening of valuation in the companies that we want to buy as well. That's when we could call ourselves to investment action. So in that sense, the result season so far has broadly been as predicted to plan and with no nasty surprises. The coming weeks will see more results coming out and uh, we could see some companies surprises on the upside as well do better than what we expect them to do and we could also see some disappointments as the season goes it's our duty to reset our expectations after studying each company result and decide what valuation will be acceptable to us in each company to make us take investment actions whether you are an individual investor or a professional manager you need to always keep doing this. There is no escaping that. And this result season so far has been to plan. Thank you for watching this video.